watching CBS 2 News in high definition. A fresh measure of bike bedlam on New York City streets. A surprising new report looks at how many pedestrians seek hospital treatment each year after being hit by bicycle riders. CBS 2's Tony Aiello reports. The bike boom has two wheelers claiming their piece of city streets and pedestrians telling of many brushes with bikers. A close miss. He, I was going to step down into the bike when he went right past. Now for the first time, some firm numbers. Researchers at Hunter College looked at hospital data and found statewide about a thousand pedestrians seek hospital treatment each year after being hit by a bike rider. More than half of those injuries happening in New York City. Those numbers came as quite a surprise to those Hunter College researchers because they did some preliminary work that suggested a thousand injuries each year nationwide. This represents just the uh, tip of the proverbial iceberg. Lead researcher Peter Tuckel says there's no knowing how many more people were injured but didn't seek hospital treatment. We've got to pay much more attention to uh, all of the users, the street users, and uh, the pedestrians obviously are a core group. Next year, the bike-loving Bloomberg administration will roll out a bike share program putting 10,000 more two-wheelers on the street. Safety advocate Nancy Gruskin worries what that'll mean. Her husband, Stuart, was hit and killed by a bike rider in Midtown two years ago. Safety really needs to be part of this bike share conversation. I'm very concerned about the fact that it's being talked about without a not only a corresponding safety program, but first understanding what's going on on our city streets. Streets soon to be even more crowded with bikes. On the east side, Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. The City Department of Transportation says compared to the number of pedestrians hit by cars, the bike numbers are, quote, pretty low, and the city will work to get them even lower.